This log's 19 feet long, so that's longer than my mill can do. I can do 17 and a half, but I really only need a 15 footer. So that's what I'm gonna cut the length to. This is a Douglas fir. I'm gonna turn it into a six by six beam. Unless you can afford a huge mill. If you're doing a big beam like this, it's really hard to keep the pith out of it. So in that case, especially a small log like this, I will do my best to keep the pith right in the center of my beam. I have these extra boards laying here for a reason. I go ahead and lay them down so when I roll the logs up to the mill, I'm not picking up any rocks or debris or anything like that. These ramps have been a lifesaver for me. Even to get a small log like this up in here by yourself is quite a task. Once I got these ramps, it made my life much easier rolling these logs up here. Well, let's get this thing up and running. It's been about 20 minutes it's taken me so far. So we'll see how long it's gonna take me. I'm going to treat this just like I would a mill at work. Clean my part off real good before I roll it to the back of my jaws. It'll keep everything square. I'm in no hurry. I want to make sure this thing is as square as can be. So take your time when you're rolling your logs and setting them against your hard jaws. Make sure everything's nice and square before you tighten it down and take that next cut.
everything on this saw is manual. There's no hydraulics on this saw at all. There's no automatic feed on it. So it's not a real productive saw per se, but for a single person like me or some little homestead, these saws are perfect to create the lumber you need to build the projects you want on your homestead. I use a five gallon bucket over here on the end of this to catch all the sawdust. And then I got a pile over here I dump it in. I'm always trying to burn wood, scrap wood, as I go. If I'm going to do that, I might as well put my garbage in there, right? <laughs> Everything that goes in my garbage can is burnable. So anytime I do a little burn out here, it's garbage day for me in a way. Well, it took me about 45 minutes to cut this beam from start to finish. Not too bad, considering this piece of lumber, only 12 feet long, at Lowe's, is $158. Alright, that's it. I do have a little wane left there in the middle, you can see that. But the pith I tried to keep in the center of the beam the best I could. I'm thinking I didn't get a chance to show you where the pith was. <laughs> you can see it's right there in the center, and then you can see how square it is. Looks good. I got a light in here, a little solar one. A little panel there, a little light, works good. I can work out here at night now. I was editing the video and I'm like, oh, I didn't even show any of that. See how square, see how square that one is. You can see the pith's off just a little bit on this side. But for a 14 foot beam, that's pretty good. One of the best parts about this garden is I get to grow it year round. Now that's not to say that I have peppers and tomatoes all the time, but I do have a year round garden. I don't grow a big garden and process a ton of food. I process just what I need. Other than that, I grow and eat what I have. When you start making noodles for yourself, you'll never go back to the store-bought noodles. <laughs> they are just superior. And, you know, they're fresh. They don't take long to cook. They're, you know, your regular noodles going to take you 10 minutes. These things take about four to five minutes. There's some really nice machines out there that'll do all kinds of noodles for you. So you can look into them too. I do everything by hand, you know that. 
make sure if you're doing them to get them flowered up good if they're gonna sit around for a little while and they won't stick together. Some coriander cut up, some parsley, and a little bit of basil. Now I didn't have an onion or I would have cut that up too. So I'm just gonna cut up these two peppers. I got the banana pepper and then I've got a jalapeno. I'm not gonna use the seeds in the jalapeno, just the pepper itself. Garlic, I use garlic in almost everything, I have to admit. <laughs> so three cloves of garlic here. This is where I keep all my leftover cuttings and stuff. I just put them in here and when it's ready for the compost, I'll take it out. Just like always with your hamburger, get a nice hot pan, get it going hot. Get your hamburger in there in little tiny chunks. You don't want to boil this stuff. Don't cook it on low heat, cook it on high heat. A little salt and pepper for sure. You know, when you start grinding your own meat, you start using it, it just it, it just cooks so much nicer. You can get it into little tiny chunks easier. I just love grinding my own meat and my own hamburger. Same pan, a little olive oil. I'm just gonna saute these peppers down, throw a little bit of garlic in, saute that down. I don't wanna burn the garlic, so be careful that you don't burn it. You might wanna turn your heat down a little bit here but just get these good and sauteed before I put the sauce on top of them. This is my last jar from last year, so I'm gonna use it. I did notice that last year's sauce is a little runnier than this year's, so I definitely reduced it more this year, got a little thicker sauce. Get your hamburger in there when it gets back up to a simmer. I'll put my greens back in here, turn the heat way down, and then I'll let this simmer really low for a little while until my noodles are done. As usual, it's getting dark on me again. I had to get my headlamp out so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Totally up to you, but when I'm making a spaghetti sauce, I like a really meaty sauce. So less sauce, more meat, usually for me. How is everybody this afternoon? I hope you're having a fantastic day as always. I wanted to get on here and talk about a website. A friend of mine reached out to me and made a website for me. If you'd like to go check it out, feel free. It's at www.aloneoffgrid.com. Um, he's been working on the crawlers It should be at the top of the page as soon as you pull it up. If you'd like to go visit that, feel free. I've got some pages over there that I follow also. Uh, there's a little biography of me over there uh, and just some pictures right now. Um, you can sign up for an email over there if you would like to and I can stay in contact with you with email. But I'm just debating on what to do over there at some point. I'd like to build that page as I go. If you'd like to go visit it, feel free. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you again soon.